as Asian. Radiant team. Jump ourselves into the game. Hello and welcome to another game of the Asian Gaming League. We've got ourselves a game between Orange and Team Solicit. And we are in the quarterfinals of this uh, league that is uh, played from Kuala Lumpur. We are here with teams that are sitting next to each other in a land center. We are not there, unfortunately, for this edition. But who knows if this is a success, there will be more. Will be more and we might actually see uh, me in an event like that. How about that, right? And if you want that to happen, you know, like uh, like AGL on Facebook, make them bigger, make them grow. Facebook.com slash Asia GL on Facebook. And of course, it's not just for tournaments like this. They also uh, try to run in houses and just Orange leagues in general. So pick. go check that out for sure. So, I, like I said, we're in the quarterfinals. Radiant so Solicit pick. definitely be beat a couple of, uh, of teams to get here. The question is, can they beat Orange? Because on paper, they're not going to do it. We're going to see what they're going to be trying to do to actually get themselves this game. They're going to be up against a bat rider and a life steal already. So there's already a bat stealer bomb. We've got ourselves a lone druid, shadow demon, Ten keeper of light and a magnus remaining. getting banned out, and uh, the Nyx assassin was the first pickup of this game, and so let's hit pick it up. Seconds remaining. We're gonna be seeing which heroes they want to be uh, having together with that. Is this that time, time, no disconnect, so it can just continue on. Yeah. We're gonna be seeing. Uh, wow, what run are we gonna be seeing? Bane. Bane, apparently. I speak for the trees. To counter the life sitter a bit. Or they just profit there, so pick. so a lot of mobility. But I'm I'm missing kind of like like the thing the thing I said previous game is that if you're up against a team that is Shrek. supposed to be higher in skill than you, you the are gonna be trying to, or you should be trying to have like something up your sleeve like something unorthodox something that has not been done that often something that orange is not gonna be expecting now anything can happen with still two picks on the board but so far it looks like pretty standard picks to me we're gonna have a life stealer together with a Lashrak. we saw that being done by orange previous game as well Ten this time though, having remaining. a bed rider instead of a lone druid. Lone druid was banned up by themselves. Oranges turn to ban. Mm, let's see. It's a dark seer that gets banned out. Still an offlane are needed for uh, for orange if you're gonna assume bed riders Radiant in the mid lane. Bed rider could, of course, in theory, go to the jungle. They could. He could go to the mid lane, offlane. Different roles. I'm kind of expecting orange to run an aggressive trial and again. Like I guess it's one of the one of the traps that you have if you're gonna be if you're gonna be in a game that you know you're you're supposed to win based on you no know, pure skill, you might be a bit too ballsy with that, and that is something that solicit can tra definitely use. But you, therefore, you I mean you, you go for an aggressive trial earlier because you think you can take them anyway. Five seconds remaining. We're gonna be seeing Solicit thinking about their ban. There we go, it's a Rubik. Orange. Knowing that Life Seater and the Shrek probably need another support to uh, pick up Radiant with that. Team ban. Could have Eventual Spirit again if you this time played as a support. We could also have something like a Pugna as we saw last time. But basically anything can work. Because the Shrek and Life Seater are on their own. I mean, you don't have a setup stun, but the open wounds can definitely set up for a good split earth. And we have seen in the previous game. That uh, Lashrak doesn't really need a setup stun because he can hit stuns with this uh, without uh, setup stuns as well. Are we gonna have a juggernaut and a weaver getting banned out? So listen, gonna be uh, there for having a bit of a less of a push potential, perhaps. Ten seconds. With the remaining. juggernaut being a carry that can push fairly hard, and the weaver, of course, a hero that Five well, we saw in the previous remaining. game. Orange didn't have any issues with that, but then they had a lone druid. Maybe now they're expecting something else on the offlane. Sand King Oranges is gonna get banned out. To ban. The Shrek Sand King combination. Famous, or notorious, I should say. I'm 
We're gonna be seeing the last Bannard coming from Orange. Now we have got the Nyx Assassin probably as support. Bane probably as support though. The combination of the two isn't that magnificently strong. And I kind of would like to see one of the two actually going mid. Radiant team but I don't think we're gonna see that. Nature's Prophet is probably gonna be going on the offlane. Maybe starting out in the jungle if he thinks he can't be on the offlane. But if there's gonna be an aggressive tri lane, he can definitely be in the offlane. Better yet, then all of a sudden there's gonna be able to be a Nature's Prophet on the tri lane, on the safe tri lane. And all of a sudden it's three versus four. Putting uh, Orange, uh, ma making Orange outnumbered. If Orange is indeed gonna go for that aggressive tri lane again. And that means that we're gonna probably Orange see Nick's mid win for me. Nightmare set up for a good ice path. Of course, the same thing can be said for us for a stun pick. from the Nick. So an impale can do that too. And we might. I mean, Bane in theory could we go mid as well. I personally like Bane mid. I, I like Nick's assassin mid more, but I like Bane mid as well purely because he gets level six down faster. And when he gets to level six, he should probably rotate with someone just because he can't really profit that much from that mid lane apart from levels. We're gonna see which one they're gonna be uh, rotating there. We're gonna have a visage picked up by Orange. Ten so that's gonna be an aggressive remaining. tri lane. If you're gonna be picking up a visage if, and you Five don't pick up an aggressive remaining. tri lane, that's not ideal. That definitely is not ideal. Visage is a very strong Reserve early game time. hero with high nuke potential. And I think we're gonna see Orange make good use of that one. We might actually see a visage mid. We have seen that before. I have not seen it before in Orange, but. Orange basically can do anything, I feel like. We have the gyrocopter as the carry for our solicit. And the last pickup for Orange is gonna be something that can go either mid, or offlane, or support. Depending on what they're gonna do with their visage. And I mean, in theory, the Shrek could go mid as well. There's just a lot of options. And as we saw last game, I mean, I called the Vengeful Spirit to be a support. It wasn't that. Mushi played that one solo mid, so... I might be wrong this time again, and I'm not really, really Ten ready to call out remaining. anything. Because it can be anything. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Reserve time being used for the first time for Orange. Now knowing that they're up against the Gyro, knowing that they're up against either a Bane or a Nyx mid. And we might actually have... I hope it's gonna be a Nyx mid in this case, because Bane and Gyrocopter is just too good of a combination to pass up on. You've got yourself a Nightmare to set up for a Rocket Barrage and then an Ice Path to follow up as well. There's a lot of, a lot of kill potential. We might actually see them try to go for an aggressive trial in themselves. But then again, if it's gonna come towards them, they might just go for the safe lane, expecting Orange to run an aggressive trial lane. They could try to dodge the aggressive trial lane and go for the long lane trial lane still. I know. It's trial lane -ception. Which team goes where? Maybe Orange is expecting an aggressive trial and is gonna try to go for the safe trial in themselves. Maybe Orange is expecting Solicit to dodge the aggressive trial by going to the, to the long lane and actually go to the safe lane themselves, making sure that they have actually still an aggressive trial even though they're not on the aggressive side. Storm Spirit is alive! I know, right? Radiant it's awesome. Pick. We've got a Storm Spirit picked up there, so that's gonna be their mid game dominance. And, I mean, I already talked to you about a Bat Stealer. Well, Storm Stealer is here to stay as well, and that's gonna be Life Stealer infesting a Storm Spirit, being able to be all over the map. And uh, we are waiting for Mushi to pick up that hero before we are jumping ourselves into the game. There we go. Let's see what we have here. On the dire side, it's gonna be Orange hanging around there. <laughs> We're gonna have Mushi on the life stealer actually, Prepare and they swapped battle. around after uh, after picking up all their heroes. Okay, we're gonna have X playing the visage, and it will uh, be Ohio on the storm. We've got KYX by on the bat rider, and then last but not least, it is Net playing the uh, visage, playing the Shrek that is, because the visage is actually visage. Hello, oh, played by X. I already said him. There we go. That was everybody of Orange. Let's take a look at what Solicit is doing here. We've got uh, Loaded playing the uh, Vis... Why am I saying Visage? It's a Bane. What am I saying? <laughs> We've got Dark Aces back. Gonna be playing the Jakiro with the QQ playing the Gyrocopter. It is the Nyx Assassin being played by... Um, ooh, let's pronounce this properly. Timon Lipit. Lipat. Timon Lipat. It's gonna be the Nyx Assassin and then last, but die. definitely not least, it is the Nature's Prophet played by Emil S. 
And uh, we will see which one of these two teams is going to be victorious as uh, both teams decided not to go for a level 1 engagement. Orange, of course, not having all their team members here, so it's not ideal for them at all to do this. And um, I think uh, Solicit, not quite sure if indeed Orange is only with three there, so they can't really engage without seeing the whole team, knowing what they would be running into. The battle begins. Oh. Ballsy from Storm going for a very, 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 very fast bottle. Not picking up any regen. Probably knowing that he's gonna be up against the Nyx, he should be fine though. And we do have a safe trial line from Solicit. Probably expecting the aggressive trial line anyway. That's there from Orange. No real surprise for us though, I guess. We're gonna be seeing if uh, we're gonna be having this top lane again go on the way of the Bad Rider. I mean. It's a nature's profit bad rider. In theory, bad rider should be winning this for sure, especially with the harassment that he can throw it with the sticky napalm. But uh, nature's profit probably gonna be okay for the start. He will hopefully for him pick up a very fast magic stick because he needs that. He definitely needs that as he is. Uh, he's got one stack only for now, so he is okay. But uh, we should keep a close eye on that Mine. on the top because that's gonna be the one that's gonna be saying if he is uh, gonna be doing something. And um, we are going to be having most of our vision on this uh, bottom lane because this bottom lane is where it's at. Bottom lane, aggressive trail lane versus the lane that can definitely be aggressive as well. And I love this pickup. Bane picked up and feeble level one. Now that is something that is so incredibly annoying to Mushi. I mean... That is going to be reducing his attack power by half, I believe. Yeah, there we go. 30 attack power less. And even though it's still possible to go for last hit, it's just so much more difficult. We instantly see him having some issues as we have got open wounds up on the bane. They want to go for this splitter of hits as well. Rock Mirage in the meantime up on net. He has to be careful. It is going to be the bane that might be going down first. So there we go. Mushi picks up the first blood. Net being safe. And the Gyrocops are being slightly out of position. Rock Mirage up on Mushi. And the ice pad misses, but the splitter doesn't, and that's gonna be another kill. Golden Way of Orange, can they take down the Jakiro as well? No, they cannot, but that is gonna be two kills going to Orange on this bottom lane. And actually, I feel like a, sol a Solicit, they might have been able to pick up their own kill there as well, but they were a bit... Well, we were a bit panicking, it felt like. But they couldn't uh, They couldn't pick up any kill Orange movement away from the Rock of Rush. I mean, it's very easy to dodge if you're actually able to move. That is why the combination of the Nightmare Ice Path is so nice to have with the Rocket Barrage there. Because you're going to have um, the uh, Gyro able to just walk towards the target. And the Ice Path will make sure he doesn't walk away when the Rocket Barrage is going on. By the way, in the meantime, you saw that uh, the Creep had actually the Enfeeble up on him. So a slight misclick from the Bane. Actually, is um, it's not that much mana cost though, so it's not too bad. But, uh, but Mushi is gonna be uh, is gonna be having to deal with that one for a for a long time to come. I think that's that's gonna be one of the most annoying things for him on this lane at the moment. But Orange already picking up the first blood, already uh, pulling up ahead on this game, and we have got ourselves Ohio level three, nine for six on his last hits with Nyx Assassin, ten for eight. So Nyx Assassin slightly more higher on the uh, last hits, but. Oh, and last, uh, higher on the level as well. Actually doing quite well for himself. And he's going to get more creeps coming his way as well. Just because Ohio probably went for that rune. Giving, therefore, the Nyx a bit more time. And I was going to say, like, even if he's lower than last hits, it doesn't really matter for him. Because what he needs is his level 6. And when he is level 6, he will be able to just roam around trying Radiance to get kills. Trying to make a difference on the top lane. Trying to make a difference on the bottom lane. Wait a second, there's going to be a kill on the Nature's Prophet here. Because he is not going to be living with four stacks of sticky napalm and flames under his feet. And that's gonna be a kill going the way of KYXY. No. And for Solicit it's all gonna be depending on when that mix is gonna be level 6 because then he can make a difference then. Then Solicit can also be a lot more aggressive on his bottom lane. And may I remind you that it's not just the, the Nyx that can then come in. The Nature's Radiance Prophet can TP himself in. So all attack. of a sudden, Orange will have to deal with five heroes on his bottom lane. But first they have to deal with the Gyrocopter getting slow, getting stunned, getting all the wounds and going down. It's gonna be Bane that they want next. If you have enough mana, Ice Path, nice one. Stops all the supports and Mushi doesn't have mana for an open wound, so he can't do anything either. And that is gonna be another kill going the way of Orange. And the carry of Solicit actually is the one to go down. And we do have uh, Storm almost level 6. 
And when we have Storm level 6, he'll be able to do the same thing as I said that the Nyx would be doing. And Nyx, I mean, he was slightly higher her levels, wasn't he? Is he still that? Yes, he is. He is closer to level 6 than the Storm is. Might be trying to get a kill on the Storm and then roam bottom, but if he does, then he won't be having his Vendetta again for the bottom lane, which he kind of needs, because right now, this is a very tough lane to be dealing with. There's no sentries up on the supports here, though, so he has, like, Nyx still has a chance to come he on here unannounced. Even though it probably will be obvious if he's missing mid lane, but at least they won't be able to see him straight away. But for now, Solicit has to play it careful, and they know that too. They might have killing potential, but they can't really kill right now, because they're just getting counter-killed in return. Oh, Bane. What you doing, Bane? Being a bit ballsy. Pops a clarity. Didn't have a nightmare to set something up. Might still want to do something from the side. Here comes a Jakiro. Open wounds actually up on the bay. There goes the clarity off again. And there's gonna be a split off that hits up on him as well. And he goes down before he can cast anything. Rock of Barrage trying to do what he can. Nature's probably TPing in. It's a bit too late though. There's gonna be net then. It will still be going down. One more hit from the Jakiro. No, stick charges keep him up. And it's gonna be the Nature's Prophet that just TP'd in that might go down again for the second time. Here comes Ohio with the haste from Vortex up on the Jakiro. The Nyx Assassin comes in, is able to pick up the Lashrak, so that's at least one kill. Nice and pale, hits upon two, and X is actually almost going down to the neutrals. As we have the Jakiro still getting picked up by the life stealer Mushi, getting that one triple kill for him. Vendetta, Pivisage, double kill for the Nyx as well, so that's at least something getting... Well, getting back in return for uh, for all the kills that happened, but Radiance it is definitely Orange that pulls out ahead of that one. Now, the only two that died on the side of Orange were actually the two supports. Well, of course, QQ going down for the third time this game. Definitely not something you want to have. Nature's Prophet TPing in and then dying when he comes. Not something you want to have. And all that happened with five heroes roaming around towards the bottom lane of the Solicit with only four heroes there from Orange because KYXY is still hanging around top and is actually having his last two. He just really wants his blink dagger so he doesn't really want to move. But that means that a four versus five fight actually went to Orange. Oh, they find so many people here. Splitter, open wounds, Bane goes down. Ice Bath's too late and the uh, rage from uh, Mushi gonna be able to Stop him from getting stunned and this QQQ that they get as well. Infest out and that is gonna be a trial lane wipe. TP in from Nick's Assassin might not be the best of choice. Dodges the splitter, that's nice. Gets an impale, nice as well. But he is now without man on the bottom lane, without help, all by his lonesome. And he is gonna be having to walk all the way back. While well, Storm is having an invis room for himself and looking to be going on the uh, Nature's Prophet who is hanging around back top again. Level 5 for him. Here comes the Storm though. Looking for a Vortex. Gets it as well. And that's gonna be Nature's Prophet going down. No trees will save him with that ball lightning around. And Orange just pulling ahead real fast. We have got the Gold Graph just going for a steep down line. Line down that is. And we have got the Experience Graph saying the same, telling the same story. And all of a sudden it looks it looks bad for Solicit. They have to try to keep them they keep themselves safe. And actually with their lineup they might just want to try to go for a bit of extra counter aggression, but saying that, realizing the most important thing, the level difference being such a huge impact right now. This gyro can't be aggressive. Look at this, like level two rock rush is still a lot of burst damage, but if you're gonna be up against heroes that are higher level than you. Like, even the supports of Orange are a higher level than the carry of Solicit. That's trouble. And a blink tag and a up on KYXY is gonna be even more trouble as well. As he is gonna actually be in a lot of trouble. He goes down. Nice pick up for Solicit. It's gonna be the Kiro that picks it up. Bane was not able to get an assist for that one, but uh, the Nyx, of course, able to help out. He is the one that's supposed to do it now for his team. He is the one that is supposed to be making a difference on the map. Getting those pickoffs, getting those kills, and make sure Orange cannot advance to try and take something from Solicit Radiant like towers tower next to games. Under attack. Let's see if they can take down uh, take down Ohio as well. He has got a haste from though, so I think he's gonna be just fine. Gonna be taking the sun. Smoke is still up on the side of uh, Solicit, but uh, he is sitting on the right side. Hey, Shroon, they're gonna go in on the QQ instead. Here comes the rest of his team, though, but QQ is already gonna be down before the rest starts. Nice Ice Bat, Drew Breath as well. The Hey, Shroon on Ohio will be able to get himself out, but KYX fine. He's gonna get an Impale, gonna get a Brain Sap. We'll be going down for the second time. Nice job. Let's see if the... Oh, here comes an Ice Bat. 
He can't escape. Do they have another impel? No, they don't. They need a vendetta. They need that hit. They can't get it. The haste rune is too much. And in comes Net. Gets himself a kill. Gets killed off in return, but never mind that. Impale up on X and he is gonna be going down as well. There we go. In comes Mushi though, looking for the kill on the Nyx Assassin. We'll be able to get it as well. With the Visage actually picking up the kill with his familiars. And that is gonna be orange. Even though losing two lives, you're gonna be once again pulling up ahead. I love that Slizzard is pulling up a bigger fight than we were seeing in the previous game though. They are... They are trying to stay in this game, and they are gonna try to uh, maybe defend their tower. Maybe not. Actually, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be going down. Mushi is just bashing it down. There's no edict yet up on the Shrek, but it's not really needed, and especially not with those familiars Radiant's there with all the seven stacks that they had fallen. before they started bashing on the tower. There's gonna be a lot of damage going through. Mushi picking up the gold for the tower. Mechanism being built up by the Nature's Prophet. I mean, if they're gonna be fighting this often, might as well get some uh, some heals upon your team. We got ourselves. Um, the blink dagger up on the bed rider. We already saw that one, but we didn't really see the aggression with it. Since he has that blink dagger, he's died twice. Not really ideal. And all the items that we see, we have 2k gold up on Mushi, but item wise, he's got drums, he's got face boots, and actually, he, they are roaming to go for the tower. They're gonna be having some people in return, though. It's gonna be a uh, whoa. Might we wanna go invisible? Central work actually goes down, so can't save him now, and that's gonna be him going down. In the meantime, it's gonna be the Jakiro that goes down still. Last two on the back end of things. Gonna drag the gyro not up to the high ground. Nice job as Bane is gonna get killed off. Splitter of hits and that is gonna be cold on coming down. Not able to save his teammate. He's gonna try to TP out though. We'll be able to do that. But is therefore gonna be together with the Nature's Prophet the only ones that are alive on this team. Nature's Prophet is gonna be trying to push bottom. Trying to force Orange maybe back towards Radiant's their tier 1 tower, tower. stop the pushing attack. from happening. And it is gonna be successful, at least for the storm, but I think he's just gonna try to go for the Nature's Prophet himself, perhaps. Uh, not even gonna do that. Emil's gonna be uh, going towards the top Radiant lane as a tier 2 tower gets fortified. fortified. But it's still in a pretty, quite a lot of danger to, to be going Radiant's down. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Let's see if uh, Solicit is going to be able to defend this properly and uh, maybe get some kills on the, on the back end of things as Orange is actually going to be uh, fake backing here. Going to be backing off and then going uh, around the bushes trying to go for it. Here comes Mushi looking for targets to get the central world placed down. Split Earth happens and that is going to be the Nyx Assassin going down as a first one. Dual breath up on net. He has to back himself up a bit as Bane puts himself in a nightmare. We'll probably go down regardless though. It's going to be the hero that gets... Picked up there as well as the QQ, and it is gonna be again everybody going down apart from the Nature's Prophet, who was on the top lane and not there to begin with. He can't really help his team though, he knows that all he needs to do is try to get the control on the map, try to force Orange the, to not go for their tier 2 slash tier 3 blink in. Oh, he wants to do this. Sticky Napalm, but there is gonna be a Firefly soon. Flame Break as well to help him get knocked back. Lasso, Sticky Napalms, more Sticky Napalms, please, the flames, and it's gonna be too much, I think. And low is not gonna be too much. Nice TPI still from Emil's. Using everything that he had, Kiwi X by couldn't do the job and is uh, gonna still be defending a sour, but is not gonna be having the kill. And the tier 3 tower is, by the way, still standing because Orange can't go on it when there is someone pushing on that tier 1 and they don't want to be losing their towers because that will be giving gold away to your opponents and that's not a good thing to have happen. We've got ourselves 15k gold in favor of Orange, though they could definitely be sharing some of that with their opponents because they don't have that much. And we got an experience graph, of course, saying the same story. 10k, 11k experience in favor of Orange. But Solicit definitely not out of this game yet, though they are fighting an uphill battle. Nice, uh, nice counter board, that one. Picking up three wards in total. And then there's the two tier two towers still left standing on the side of uh, Solicit, so... Uh, Probably gonna see Orange rotating towards that bottom lane is first. Orange uh, Mushi has got himself an armor top. Let's see if we can find some more items. Mechanism almost up on X. Net has some mana boots. We already saw the blink dagger, but now also the four Radiant's stuff up on the bat rider. And for the storm, attack. we've got ourselves an orchid almost ready. So that is the items up on Orange, and and they are starting to look really good in their items and their core items being uh, as good as done. Well, for core items on the side of Solicit, that's gonna be a bit tough because there's not even boots on the bane. 
There is boots up on the Jakira, but that's Radiant's about it. Bottom tower is under attack. We've got the Nyx, doesn't have anything like a blink dagger or any other items just yet. Radiant's tower goes down without defending a gyrocopter. The supposedly carry of Solicit has got brown boots, now has got treads, but that is all he has. And Nature's Prophet, the one that has farmed most on the side of Solicit, he's got himself a mechanism, so that will be definitely make a difference in the fight. However, it only makes a difference in a fight if he's actually able to be in the fight. And he hasn't really been in the fight. We're gonna see uh, Nick's assassin this time. No sentry ward to shut him down. So he's actually able to get himself away. Nicely, uh, nicely done. And Feeble up on the nice uh, on the live stream. Getting a bit of harassment. Impale hits as well. Range that. Mushi. Trouble. Cold on coming down as well. He's able to get himself out of there though. And he's gonna go right back in with the rage up. It is gonna be a lasso on the gyro. He's gonna get picked up right after the Jakiro buys back. After going down, nice impale on two people, Mushi. He just toggles his armor to keep himself up. But with that enfeeble, can't do anything, can't eat himself back to life. And he is the one that gets traded for the gyrocopter, which is well, the gyrocopter and the Jakiro, I guess. But it's not really that ideal. Orange getting forced out of the base of Solicit. First time that we saw that happening since yesterday, since we started following uh, Orange. In the Asian Gaming League. Had to happen sometime. Dyer's top and it is Solicit that gets denied. it done. In the meantime, they also lose the tower. It's getting denied, but the tower is still down. So a bit of extra gold going the way of Solicit. That's good. It's not good that it's denied, but it's good that they get some gold. They need that core gold, especially for their supports. Need that core gold up on their supports to make sure that they have got their items up for the next fights to come. Roshan is gonna be taken down by Orange though. Over here now. Last time we saw them going for the Roshan. They uh, went straight mid and um, actually took down uh, all the racks. Created some mega creeps. Let's see if they're gonna try to do the same thing again. It's gonna be Ohio that picks up the Aegis. Immortality is mine! Feeling like Mushi has got himself an own uh, built-in uh, survivability tooltip with the armlet as well as, of course, the rage. And more importantly, if Storm actually dies, I mean, he's he's gonna be able to burn all of his mana before he dies, and he will get up with even more mana, and he'll be able to do the same thing over and over again. So it's it's pretty decent to have that on the Storm. Lishrak would have been one as well if he would have had more farm. Not that he doesn't have a lot of farm, because he does. Not as much as previous game though. But it is uh, yeah, a storm that, that picks up the ages and it's orange that goes Dyer's bottom. Middle tower is under attack. Having to deal with a bit of pressure that's being applied to our tier 1 mid. Even though tier 1 is not gonna die yet, I think the Nature's Prophet with the mechanism, he needs to be here for this fight. Blinking Lasso! It is the Nyx that they have and he is gonna get picked up before anything else. And there we go, Ohio picks it up, over wounds up on QQQ, cold down. He's gonna slow Mushi down a bit. It doesn't matter though, QQQ goes down, as does the Bane. And that is gonna be three heroes on the sidelines with one buying back and no mechanism to help Radiant's save the team because it's fortified. still Nature's Prophet pushing in the Radiant's mid lane. The fortification goes off though, still delaying the push in from Dyer's Orange, but I don't think they're gonna be backing off not when they have an Aegis and they wanna waste that Aegis. Well, maybe not waste, but they wanna use it. Bad Rider looking for a blink in perhaps, a grenade pump, just forcing everybody back. Central words being placed everywhere, should Nyx show, show his face, then they will be able to see him. Dyer's Mana burn, just harassment, the Zergs will fall. Nature's Prophet picks up the tier 1 mid in the meantime, Ice Pet locks in Mushi and Impale, doesn't hit though, the Rage is there, and that is gonna be Nyx's pass and getting one it, going down, Vortex, up with the Jukiro, we're going down as well, and Cooldown trying to slow down Orange from going into the fountain of the opposing team but of Solicit they are forced back into the fountain indeed and they can't really do anything against Orange's uh, might right now because they are looking at losing more than just Radiant's their one set of racks. Nature Prophet was also by the way in this fight he has not used his uh, mechanism just yet but it's kinda too late right now. Blinkin Lasso grabs um, Nature Prophet and he is gonna go down, probably uses his mechanism, but down he goes regardless, just like the gyro once again, Mushi Towers heading on, hitting on him. Nice bad locks in the storm, still has got the ages though, so he's not in any trouble as of yet. 
And they might not have Radiant's a lot of pushing power. Oh, never mind. Attack. Edict level 4 is going to be there to help that out. Nice bad luck of fire trying to do what he can. Mushi taking a lot of damage from that... Uh, well, from that Vendetta, but he just eats himself right back to life with rage. With Takira almost getting aggressive four staff towards enemy team by uh, by KYX by. As we have Ohio still being pretty brawly with his HP. Like I said, Aegis is there. Mechanism getting used even doesn't need him. Doesn't, doesn't allow him to pop that Aegis. He'll take the rock into the face gladly. I think he wouldn't mind having his Aegis pop because then he would get more mana again. Um, Orange can't really rotate towards uh, the tier 3 um, top because they need a tier 2 first and they're gonna go exactly there. I don't think they care about backdoor protection. Uh, Sunshine Yasha is picked up now by Mushi as well. It is uh, it is not looking good though for Team Solicit in case anybody was wondering. They are quite on the back foot here. The only one that's uh, close to them in net worth is gonna be the Nature's Prophet. He is only slightly ahead of the support. The Shrek, though, and the GG is called. It is gonna be orange. That is gonna be victorious. Gonna be moving on to the semifinals. And the semifinals Radiant's in this uh, Asian Gaming League is gonna be the most interesting. Well, it's gonna be interesting because there are four teams here in this competition that are considered to be good. Two top teams and two very high and upcoming teams. The two top teams, of course, being Orange and Radiant's MUFC. Top tower has fallen. They won't be up against each other in the uh, semi-finals, though. They they would, would meet in the um, in the grand finals if they beat their uh, second finals, uh, semi-finals opponent. And those opponents attack. are the Malaysia All-Star team. They would be going up against Orange Radiant's if they won their previous game. And then we also have got Radiant's Invasion Gigabyte. So that would be uh, if they make it through their previous round, of course. Quarterfinals are being played still, so we don't really know that Radiant's for sure. But we will find out fallen. soon, as soon as uh, the throne drops. As soon as uh, we are jumping ourselves out of this fallen. game, we will the see who is points. gonna be going up against Orange, against MUFC. I'm kinda hoping that the semi-finals will be happening after each other, not at the same time. I will be checking that later though. Radiant's I will be finding that out from an attack. admin. So uh, stick around for Radiant's more games fallen. coming up and better yet, more even games coming up, more exciting games with the games that the teams being uh, more evenly matched in skill, one would hope. As of course we're still building towards the grand finals of this event. If you want to, by the way, support this and if, or if you want to try to compete in leagues like this, you can go to facebook.com slash AsiaGL and uh, like them on Facebook, show them some love, show, the, show your support. We're going to have more of these kind of events. And if these kind of events get bigger and better, we will, we will have more Dota 2 events, more LAN events, and who knows? Maybe next time they'll fly me out to cast from location, you know? Gonna have that. But uh, yeah, let's jump ourselves out of this game. Thank you for watching. If you want to support me, check out my website, shevergaming.com. And um, yeah, let's go. Let's go jump ourselves out of this match into the next one. Hopefully fast. Stick around.